What's up, people? What's up, people? This is your boy, Big K Solo. What's the deal? Listen, man, no question. Yo, uh, I just want to say, you know, I'm sorry, man, that I know I haven't been doing a lot of videos, man. I've been, I've been you know, I, I believe I told you guys what was the reason why I'm not going to be doing too much videos because I want to take care of myself first. You know, I want to take care of my health, my health. And once I do that, you know, I'm going to start coming out, you know, not like I used to be, but I'm going to stop doing my thing again. And um, I'm just sorry, you know, that I haven't been pacific, you know what I'm saying? I haven't been doing my thing. Anyway, this is about, this. but what, what today is about a story about what happened in the 80s with the crews. I'm talking about the crews like certain strong crews in the Bronx. You know what I'm saying? Like, Rock Steady, Hughes Boys, TCK, uh, Masterminds, Casanova Lovers, uh, the crew that I spoke about a couple of days ago named the Arthur Boys. There was a lot of crews out there. Too much crews. Too much crews. Especially where... Where, where the Hughes Boys was at. Hughes Boys, Arthur Boys, Rocksteady, and stuff like that. So what happened was that, I don't know why, the Chingalings tried to put a, wanted to put a stop to all that. I don't know if that was because they don't want none of these crews to get big and they want to go at them, you know, they didn't want to, like, a bunch of crews get together and go at the Chinglings. I'm just saying, I don't know if it was that, or I don't know, you know, I don't know why, what was the reason for the Chinglings to go to the Hughes boys and tell the Hughes boys, yo, it's time for you to start cleaning up some more houses. And they already knew we did a, uh, you know, we did a nice job with the Arthur boys. They knew that. And so I think we, you know, we passed the test. Mm. We even went to Brooklyn to Red Hood and for the crew over there that uh, Tingling Chapter in Red Hood did not want them to rep in Red Hood. So they got the huge boys from the Bronx to go to Brooklyn and go at it with them. I was there, and we went at it with them. One day, I'm going to tell you that story. So, it was like this, you know, while we listened to the, to the, to, 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 um, the Chingalese, it was because Uraka, God rest his soul, was, was our godfather. Uraka was a beautiful dude. Crazy. Crazy F, you know what? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Crazy. And um, he was our godfather. Of course, he was boys that didn't have no press. I mean, he was boys that didn't have no bikes press. We had press, and that was Felipe. And Felipe was also, my bad. And Felipe also was our bikes press. You understand what I'm saying? Okay, we came up, and like the Chinglings knew that we was crazy. We was small. At that time, we was like about maybe 50 to 60. Remember, at one time, I was number 32 at one time. When I got down with the Hughes boys, I was like number 32. Okay, believe that. So it started getting bigger, especially when we when when we beat the 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 Arthur boys. Some of the Arthur boys that was real, they became huge boys. And even the prayers, excuse me, even the prayers of the Arthur boy, of the Arthur boys became became a member. 
because he became a part of the Houston Boys, but he was never a rank. I think it got to him because Felipe didn't like him that much anyway. You know? Anyway, I remember in in the Bronx, PS1 thing, the move, the the school that has a swimming pool that is is well known as Maze Pool. And that's by, you know, that's by, how you call it, by Maze Avenue, by, you know, you got, the, you got, you got, you got Tremont, you got uh, Katona, you got uh, Mohegan, you know what I'm saying, these are places that is popping and everybody goes, you know what I'm saying, um, like I said, it was a school and, and you had a lot of crews going over there. Like, for example, you had the masterminds. Masterminds is where black and, um, you know, ain't that, ain't, ain't that, ain't that, uh, you know, a B that, that, you know, I'm a king and, and, and we rock, we rock yellow and black. You know, but it's really gold and black, but, you know, uh, masterminds was rocking the yellow and black. And, um, you had the Casanova lovers. Why was Casanova put? Hmm. I think Casanova Lovers was red and white. Red and white. Um, Ball Busters. Black and red. Um, and let me tell you, Ball Busters was one of the gangs, one of the crews that you had to give respect to. Um, their biggest enemies was Sulu Nation. They went at it with Sulu big time, big time. They gave Sulu Nation a lot of headaches. A lot of headaches, believe me, okay? The Dominicans were getting busy. Matter of fact, that's why I put the Dominicans in the in, in the in the map. The ball busters, no question about that. We even went at it with the ball busters. We, huge boys went at it with the ball busters. Bro, the next day, I said that they came like with two moving trucks. They came to two moving trucks right there where where the school was at. Uh, Roosevelt High School. They came with two moving trucks full of dudes. There was only like four or five huge boys at that moment. And they broke out. <laughs> they broke out. So they put on their roller skates and they broke out. You know what I'm saying? The next day we came back. Next day we was like about 200 of us. But they didn't show up. They didn't show up. So it would have been bad. It would have been bad. Mm. So anyway, when he told us, when the, when the, when the chickens told us that we had to like half of the crews that was in the area, we had to take down, and they gave us a, a list of some of the crews that had to go down, and it was sad because. We liked the Casanova lovers. We liked them. They had some bad girls. You feel me? A bunch of pretty boy ass. A bunch of pretty boy gay ass niggas. <laughs> nah, I ain't, I ain't, I'm gonna stop. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna call them gay. But, you know, one of those, you know, a bunch of pretty, all of them, all of them was pretty. So, pretty Rickies. I'm gonna call them pretty Rickies. So, anyway, but like I said, they had bad ass girls, B. They had the, the Casanova lover females. Yeah, yeah, we Hughes boys, Hughes boys did damage to them. Oh yeah, we yeah, yeah, yeah. We we a lot of them came under us. <laughs> anyway, anyway, right? We went to one day. It was me, Holy Cow, Felipe, White Boy, David, Landy, um, uh, Macho. It was a lot of a lot of BCs and two or three Bronx, New Yorks, and we went. At that time, I was not a Bronx, New York yet. I was just a Hughes boy. No, I was a Hughes boy, Bronx. I was a Hughes boy, Bronx. You know, say I had the, the Bronx rap. Um, 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 how you call that shit? I had the 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 rank of Bronx. Anyway, so Bronx was a, was a, was a rank. You know, you had Bronx, you had Hughes boys, your regular warrior. And then when you get the Bronx, you what you consider a, 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 an advanced warrior. 
Then when you get to New York, you consider warrior. And then when you when you get to the BC, they stand for backcracker. You was a chief, what they used to call a warrior chief. You know what I'm saying? We used to call that. We to, that that's the thing that we we made it on. You know what I'm saying? Like we was not no generals, no colonels. We was warriors and chiefs and stuff like that. We took it. We took that from the tribes. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, from the Inca tribes and stuff like that. Anyway, so. Mm. Anyway, we remember that we spoke to a few leaders like the Casanova, Casanova lovers, masterminds. Not TNT. TNT was not in that list. That's another crew. After a while, after a couple of few years, we went at it with that crew, and one one of those dudes shot my boy Macho, got rest his soul, and um. And my man, Officer Mick, we used to, we used to call him Officer Mick. That, because he was not, a, not, not, not because he was a cop, because he was an officer. Like I said, an officer had, was the one that had a BC. You know what I'm saying? You had BC, he was an officer. Like I, what I was, and you know, everybody else and stuff like that. Um, but we used to call him Officer Mick. Officer Mick blew up two of them. Blew two of them up. He called them at three or four o'clock in the morning coming home. And they lived in the same building where Officer Mick lived at. And when they shot, you know, it was a problem. And God rest his soul, Macho, a few of boys went over there. And it was just, a, it was about just to talk. It was a talking thing. It was not no pulling out, none of that shit. I don't know where these guys got the heart from. So I don't know if there was, they started smoking crack or something. So they, they pulled out. And when they pulled out, Macho pulled out. Macho was a dude that he was known to staff. When Macho pulled out, when Macho pulled out and shit, forget about it. It was on and popping, and they called Macho in the back. Macho was paralyzed to the day he died. <clears throat> Excuse me. He was paralyzed to the day he died. But after that, Officer Mick did what he did. And two days later, they they had a choice to leave the block and break up. If they would not break up, I mean, they had to break up the whole crew. If you don't break up, then guess what? You done. So that's what happened. They broke up. They got to break up. And the leader of that crew was Apache. I remember him. There was that was like two or three brothers, long hair and every stuff like and stuff like that. I think one of them, I think the 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 leader of the T eight the leader of the T T he wants to become a chingling and that's the rumor that he wants to become a chingling and the chingling didn't accept him. So that's why he really didn't like the chingling he didn't really like us. We ain't not for Mm. So anyway, we told the Casanova lovers, there were like six, seven crews in that list. And we told the whole six or seven crew what the Chingalese wanted. It was like, look, man, Chingalese don't want you guys to rap no more. You know, you guys got op- options. You guys want to rap, go, you got to rap. Not nowhere around this area. Nowhere, no Tremont, Seven Boulevard, none of this area, none of this, none of this area, Arthur Katona, nowhere, La Fontaine, um, Bathgate, no area in this area, you feel I me? Mean? So I, I remember the cast, the, the the masterminds, and who was the other one? Oh God, what was the other ones, man? The Simbag brothers, Simbag brothers, Simbag brothers. I remember them. I knocked one of the Simbag brothers out. I, as a matter of fact, he was like the third in charge. I knocked him out in a party. I swear to God, I knocked this nigga out in a party, son. <laughs> and and, and the, the, the first thing that one day I'm gonna tell that story. I'm gonna tell that story. It was, it, it's, it's sad. I mean, it's not sad. It's it's, it's, it's a funny story. But I had to do it to do, man. He he violated. He violated. So anyway, what's my cigarettes, man? So uh, let me go get a cigarette. Hear me? What's my cigarettes? Fuck! I don't got no cigarettes. I'm, I'm smoking like one cigarette every day, and I like turn it on, turn it off, turn it on, turn it off, turn it on, turn it off. No, baby, I ain't talking to you. I like turn it off, turn it off. So that's how I'm doing. It. That's how I'm smoking cigarettes. But anyway, right. Mommy, I'm talking on the phone. Well, mommy. So anyway, so guys, so you know that's that's how I'm smoking now. 
So anyway, so take this right. So Sinbad Brothers, uh, the the masterminds, um, the crew that we liked it, uh, that we liked them because they had mad bad girls, um, the Casanova lovers. And I forgot these other two crews. So what happened was that we told these dudes. And the Casanova lovers, half of them agreed to break up. And the ones that broke up, there was like three that we took. That we took Rocky. Right, there was one dude that we took Rocky. That he was he was he was about something. Rocky was about something. We took Rocky. We took this other dude, I forgot his name, and a, and, a, and a black dude, I forgot his name also. So, a lot of them broke out, but a lot of them wanted to give, you know, they didn't want to hear that. The same thing with the whole masterminds, they didn't want to hear that. They were like, nah, we ain't going to do that, we're going to talk to the chingalings. And we were like, okay, because, you know, these are dudes that, they knew that we was crazy, but they, they outnumber us. Because, you know, they, they was out longer than us, a little, long, a little longer than us. You know, he was already at that time had like about 50 or 60 guys. We had like about 60, about 60. And these guys had like about 70, 80, you know what I'm saying? So, like I said, um, the whole mastermind crew stood. They didn't want to break up. Fuck, they were like, yo, F that. Um, Casanova lovers, half of them broke up. All the girls broke out, and a lot of them became huge girls. <laughs> they, they, they were bad. I ain't going to front. And the Sinbad brothers, like seven or eight of them, became they became huge boys. No crazy. No, no. I mean, no joke, man. Like Two Face, Two Face, uh, a few others. Oh, and we had another crew that there was on the list. But somehow, some way, they got out the list. The chickenies came and said, "Now nah, don't mess with them." And that was the well famous crew. The well famous crew. Um, um, uh, the president of the well famous crew was my man, no other than Costello. Costello was a bad dude. Costello was Italian and Puerto Rican. Last name Costello. So you already know Italian. So anyway, so it was all good. It was all good, right? Up uh, to one day. We like, all right. And they told us, like, yo, man, you, you guys are really going to listen to these dudes? And we're like, yo, we Hughes boys, man. You guys know that they are godfather. And at that time, Hughes boys, we was loyal. That's why we went at it with the Chingalese a few times when we started getting older because we was loyal to them. And they started, like, you know, trying to go at it with us because we was younger. And, and are you crazy? A lot of them, you know, let me tell you, man, this is one thing I loved it about, about Black Eddie and Uraka. And C and 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 Spanky that they did, and um and um and the and the press bandit, you know what I'm saying? And there was a few chingling like Long John. God rest his soul. I saw so, I was there when he got murdered, man. Two Dominicans in the car blasting with a shotgun, so right to his chest, bro. Yo, when that man, <clears throat> bro, I was like twenty feet away from that man. He was some cock pulled up. Oh yeah, they they start talking real nice. Oh yeah, get my side. Oh yeah, to get it on me. That's what I heard. If you, you, yo, you got mines, and then my man was like, "Yo, man, give me a couple more days, bye bye." And then all I heard was click, click, boom, and all you see was smoke. This nigga's chest be he didn't had a chest, bro. They didn't hit him with no pellets, be they hit him with a with a with a ball, son. I'm talking about you know. Yo, son, I didn't get to see it, but I heard when they picked him up, he, people said that they could see right through him because they hit him right there, son, right there while he was bending down talking to them. While he was talking to them, they hit him, bro. That's crazy. I got this dude texting me right now. Anyway, you know, that was the thing about these brothers, man, that it was crazy, man, but, you know, God rest your soul, carito. Anyway. I remember that all the dudes from the Masterminds, uh, Casanova Lovers, the Sinbad Brothers, they all got together. They all got together to go at it with us, bro. To go at it with us. 
So what we did was we already had like three chapters. At that time we had like three or four chapters, maybe five. I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But the that chapter one, bro, chapter one, we had like about 300 dudes, bro. And then chapter uh, two, that was from 174th and Vice Avenue. That's like about another 70. Bro, we got all the, 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 the two, three chapters that we got together and a few allies. And I'm not going to tell you who they are. They, ah, fuck, it's been a long time. A few rock steadies. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Keep it fishy. A few rock steadies. Um, a few dudes that we knew from the Sulu Nations. Um, you know what I'm saying? And cause the Sulu Nation always wanted us to get down with them. So, you know, we... We used them a little bit. We was like, yo, we, you know, we were like, yo, man, blah, blah, to Africa, my brother, we apologize. But check this out. We're going to war right now. And if he wants, we'll get down with him. But he got, you know, we need help. And he, I remember that, that he brought two chapters. I forgot the chapters, man. I forgot the chapters. And there was some big Pietos, B, big Pietos that got down with us. Remember, bro, you had a bunch of dudes, B. You had a bunch of dudes that, that got down together. So you got a bunch of Casanova lovers. A bunch uh, 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 of the whole Sinbad brothers, the whole, um, oh my God, the whole, oh uh, God, God, the Sinbad brothers, the, the, you know what I'm talking about, I keep forgetting, I don't got a good memory, man, like, I didn't, you know, the weed doesn't help. So, I remember that war went on for like three weeks, three weeks that war went on, big. We used to catch them, they used to catch us. We used to catch them, they used to catch us up until three dudes, three other dudes that was running, running that, 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 that crew. And one of them was the, was the leader, not the leader. He became the leader of the leader of the, of the, of the Casanova lovers. He became, he became a huge boy. That was Rocky. He became a huge boy, no question. Uh, but Rocky's man, I forgot what, what his name, he had, it was Rocky Love, and they all end with love. And so let's say if it was me, Solo, Solo Love. So they used to end with, with the word love, you know what I'm saying, because the Casanova lovers. So I forgot who it was, man, Tony Love, or, 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 or Snowy, Snow, some shit, anyway, I forgot, man. Him, and like I said, two others. Got murked. Um, I can't tell you who did it because I don't know who did it. Um, but the news came to us after a while. Yo, man, bye bye. So I, I don't even think that, that none of the crew that we was going at it did that. I don't believe, I don't believe because I would have heard about it already. So somebody would have spoke and I would have heard, yeah, yo, remember such and such? Yeah, I was like, yeah, yo, he's the one that, you know, say was murking these guys. So, a lot of these dudes got murked. Three of them got murked. And that's how the war stopped. But the war was going back and forth, back and forth. But really, it was going in our favor. I ain't going to lie to you. Not because I'm a huge boy, because it's the truth. It was going our way. But then again, you know, we did not want to end it. I mean, we wanted to end this. And then we did not want to get the Chinese involved. Because by the, we, I remember the chicken was like they had the nerve to get try to get mad at us like you guys can't 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 put these guys down already and we and you know like they didn't understand yo bro what you talking about it's only like sixteen of you that's all you got it's like sixteen chinglings in the Bronx maybe twenty two maybe twenty two chinglings in the Bronx and in Brooklyn you got about another seventeen so what you talking about you know how many you know how many people we got going at us bro it's in, it's in the hundreds okay just think about that. So, you know, we had to, you know, argue with them a few times. Now with Uraka, because Uraka used to, used to, used to back us up. Black Eddie, black back us up, um, uh, Spanky, C. We had a lot of, a lot of chilling that used to back us up, B. I'm talking about back us up. There was one thing that I heard that a female told me, and her name was Adela, and I love you, Adela. She said, you know, when I was the chilling, and Adela was a huge girl too, but she became a chilling. A chicken girl. And she said, one time I was overhearing, and they were talking about you guys, the chicken A lot of chicken they didn't like us. She told me the names, but I ain't going to say that because just in case they see this, I'm not going to say who's hating. But I'm going to say who had her backs, no question. 
and Uraka, Black Eddie, a few others. It was like, yo, let me tell you something. We're getting older. These guys are the future. They're the future chingalings. So stop. You know what I'm saying? They're like telling the people, yo, stop. And a lot of them didn't want to stop. A lot of them didn't want to stop. Be like Louie, like uh, Flynn. They wanted to stop. They tried to treat us like we was little, like we was these little kids, bro. They caused the war between the Hughes boys and the Chingalings, man. No, no, no lie. One day I'm gonna tell you one of the wars that we had with them, and it was over drugs, man. They wanted, they wanted us, to, they wanted us, they wanted to start us, man. Like they wanted us to pay rent. You want the Hughes boys to pay rent? B the Hughes boys, the, the Hughes boys that at the certain age we gotta get to your age, we get to, to the age that you guys want us, and we get down with y'all, or then we stop that because then we start seeing the true colors. So I think they was getting a little mad because that was like you said, like yo, we're not getting Hughes boys no more. Man, what's going on? I know some of you guys are 21, 22. They throw shots or like that. One time they took our, our colors, the, the Hughes boys shirts, and we was tight. They wanted us to work in this in their roof, and we did to get our colors back. They did, but that's okay though. You feel I me? Mean? Because look at us, man. Look, the Hughes boys will always be in my heart. They will always be in my heart. And even though I'm a king now, and, I'm, and, I, and I am a true king, because I've been the king since '89. But I always will have king in me, and I am a king. But the Hughes boys will always be in my heart too. No question about that. Because you ever know tell you right now? At the Hughes Boys, the Hughes Boys, there's about four or five Hughes Boys that are really big, like Apollo. Like Apollo. Big boy Apollo from from, from upstate. He was a Hughes Boy. Me. Mousy. Alright? Choco. I was the soul. Jerry. There's a few of us kids that you can't, you know what I'm saying, that we was large. You heard? We was large. A lot of Hughes Boys that became Latin Kings. And we have the big Ranky Bang Bang. You feeling me? <laughs> no question. Anyway, guys, look, let me let you go, man, because I'm about to go live. And I don't want this shit to get any later than this. So I hope you guys enjoyed the little history here, a little here, a little there. Uh, this is your boy, K Solo. And I love you guys. And, if, and my eyes look a little too because I don't got my contacts on. Because me and I don't have the contact. I'm, I'm waiting for them to come through. I'm waiting for, to come, for them to come through. I'm waiting for my glasses to come through. A lot of stuff to come through. So my bad. You already know. And um, I'll holler at you guys tomorrow, definitely, all right? Because I'm going to start giving you guys my stories back, man. And um, and like I said, one more thing. As a matter of fact, i tell you guys when I go live right now, I'll tell you guys what's up with my physical and what you guys should expect, okay? Those that care, those that don't care, well, I mean, come on. You can't be that much of a hater, man. Just give me, you know, not for nothing. I know you guys hate me, the haters. Just pray for me that day, man. That will be Wednesday. Not, you know, next Wednesday. All right, guys? That's what I appreciate, man. I will appreciate, I mean, excuse me, I will appreciate that, all right? Can't hate that much, man. Come on now. All right, anyway, guys, this is your boy, Big K Solo, man. God bless you all. You already know. See you guys later in about, maybe in about 20 minutes. I'm going live, and you already know what's up, all right? Holla. Your boy, K Solo. Enjoy the story. Booyah. <laughs>